welcome back to my channel guys so today i'm going to talk about moving to ireland so literally what was the first thing to do when you move to ireland i know after going through the hustle of getting a visa and after getting the visa traveling from whatever country you're traveling from to move to ireland once you're in ireland that's the start of a new life literally the first thing to do when you arrive in ireland i'm going to go through all of those stuff in this video literally the checklist of every single stuff you need to do when you arrive to Ireland so starting from the bank you need to the accommodation the transportation and how to get you to work every single day and back to your lovely home so stay tuned to the end of the video to know all these points that you need which is crucial for you moving and living in Ireland so before coming to Ireland in the first place there's a lot of hustles you need to go through before getting in Ireland in the first place so getting the visa so all the different visa if you're coming to Ireland by family unification or by a student visa or a work visa so after all of these steps that you've gone through getting the visa and traveling from whatever country you're traveling from to come to Ireland so the first thing you have to do when you get to Ireland is having a bank account so the traditional Irish bank account takes for minimum eight weeks for you to even get an appointment with any of the Irish bank. So that's just the appointment. And after those eight weeks, then you can go to the bank and show your documentation, like your driver's license, your passport, and whatever documents um, the bank asks you before you can open a bank. And in Ireland, you need a bank or a bank account in order to get a job. So literally every single company that's legal in Ireland has to pay you through your bank. So for this reason, some people imagine moving from a country to Ireland and you have to wait for eight weeks before getting an appointment. So the best solution for this is using MoneyJar. So MoneyJar is a quick and safe new bank. So MoneyJar isn't a traditional Irish bank. As I said, in order to get an appointment for those traditional Irish bank, you need to wait for eight weeks minimum before you can even have an appointment to open a bank account. The money jar is, is, is a quick and safe new bank that allows you to open an account. Once you open an account on money jar, you have an I bank and you need this I bank in order to get paid by any legal Irish um, employer. So any legal Irish employer need an I bank from you before you can get paid. Money jar signed up takes less than five minutes. For what you need, on the sign up process on money jar you just need a driver's license or a passport you can literally go online and download the money jar app and from the app you can sign up and then you can order a physical card so a physical bank card that you can use to get paid and you can use the money jar card in any country in this world so instead of waiting for eight weeks in order to get those different um, traditional irish bank account money jar is the best solution for anyone it's quick it's safe and it's fast and you can use it in any country in the world that you please and if you're using money jar to transfer money so you can transfer money free of charge from one money jar account to a different money jar account so if a friend of yours have a money jar account you can transfer money from your account to that friend's account free of charge and you can access money jar on google pay or on apple pay so literally you can access money jar on your phone you don't need a laptop in order or a desktop in order to open money jar so it's one of the best solution when you're moving to ireland and it's a the quickest way of selling in ireland because of all these advantages that money jar has compared to the traditional irish bank once you've got your bank account once you've got that sorted, the next thing, the next thing you have to do or the next important thing you should do is to get a PPS number. So in Ireland, there's something called a PPS number, which is a personal public service number. So literally, this is the number that you have on your ID card. The PPS number is the main ID number in Ireland. You need this number when it comes to anything. If you want to go to the hospital to see a doctor, they will ask for your PPS number. If you want to get a job in order to get taxed properly by the Irish government, you need to know your PPS number. So the PPS number is more than your phone number in Ireland. It's one of the most important number. Every single one in Ireland knows your PPS number off by head. If you ask anyone of your PPS number, they usually know it off by head. In order to get 
anything in Ireland, you need your PPS number. Even in order to, before even working in Ireland, you need a PPS number. So that's the second thing once you move to Ireland, you have to get all of this stuff first before you can even thinking of working. So after getting your PPS number, which allows you to get access to all the government services, then the next thing is to get an affordable accommodation. So in Ireland, there's like a lot of different websites that you can get an accommodation, but the main safe and free of scam, because there's a lot of people scamming in Ireland. Once you move to Ireland, there will be people on Facebook marketplace um, where I'm showing you like fake accommodation that doesn't exist. That happened to me before I got scammed before 1,250 euros from someone that fake to be a landlord and he wasn't a landlord and I had to like pay money and at the end of the day let's just cut the story short yeah I got scammed before from Facebook marketplace in order to get a safe and secure accommodation in Ireland free of scams is to get it through rent.ie or daft.ie these are the two most secure website in Ireland to get an accommodation so this website when it goes or when you go on the website you can actually choose the location of which you want to stay for example if you've got your visa and you've got your job and your job is based in Dublin or your job is based in Limerick or Cork or Galway so you can go on the on this website and choose the location where you're thinking of staying then on daft.ie or rent.ie you can choose the location and you can actually specify make sure that the house you're looking for is maybe in a good neighborhood or is closer to the job you can check that and see that it's closer to your workplace so this website has stuff that you need to check even maybe even before moving to Ireland you should know of where you're going to be living because if you move to Ireland without having an accommodation I don't know how we're going to survive the first few days. Perhaps accommodation should be one of the first thing you look for even before moving to Ireland. Most of the visa nowadays have your accommodation already sorted before moving to Ireland. But those accommodations are usually really, really expensive because most people get them through agencies and those agencies have to make money. So they charge you more money because you're a middleman. So but once you're in Ireland, you can get your own accommodation by yourself by just going through um, what I'm saying in the video, you can go to daft.ie or render.ie and the landlord number will be there. You can literally ring the landlord and, and, and um, acquire for a viewing and they will let you view the house if they think you if they think you will be able to pay on time. So yeah, once your accommodation is sorted, once your bank account is sorted, once your PPS number is sorted, the next thing you need to know or the next thing you need to do is to check on how you will get to and from your house to your job every single day so that's where transportation comes in place in order to get a car in ireland is extremely expensive to afford for a car it doesn't matter if it's a new or a second hand car the car itself might not be that expensive there's a lot of different expenses that come in when you have a car for example, if you do not have an EV, that's an electric car, you need to think of servicing the car every 12 months or six months. That's literally changing the oil from the previous oil that was in the car to the new oil. You need to think of an NCD. That's um, every 12 months as well. You need to get new NCT. You can't drive in Ireland without having valid NCT, a valid insurance, and the motor tax. If you don't have any of these three um, documents on your car, you you're not allowed to try it not even if you have just two you have to have all of them it's expensive to get a car for from someone that just moved to ireland so the best 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 thing that you can do is by going through the trans the public transport everyone moving to ireland what you need to know is instead of getting the normal um, transportation car that is known as a lead car that everyone gets in ireland you can actually go to the HR of your company and, uh, and ask for the employee card. They, they have this em employee card that you can use and you get 50% of every Irish transportation system if you use those cards. Not every company does it now, but most companies do do that. And if you're a student as well, you get the student leave card that allows you to travel with a discount of up to 40% as well. And not just travel, with a discount of up to 40%. With a student leave card, you can get discount in many places. You can get discount in the cinema, 
you can get discount in shops like Booch, like TK Maxx, and a lot of different shops in Ireland. In you can get discount in like some restaurants as well if you got those sleep cards. So when you move to Ireland, instead of getting a car which would be extremely expensive for you, my best advice is to get the public transport. And from January 2023, the government is going to be subsidizing the public transport for everyone and it's going to be 20% cheaper than it is today that I'm doing the video. So from next year, the public transport is going to be cheaper. And if you avail of the work leap cash, you're going to get it even more cheaper, which at the end of the day will save you more money and prevent you from owning a car and like becoming um, broke at the end of the year even if you're working a full-time job finally the last one is the clothing so island is cold compared to most countries from i know just from the comment i've been getting from my videos most people moving to island they are moving from like india from asia from africa so most of these countries Oh, with your warm compared to Ireland. So when you when you're moving to Ireland as well, you should think of getting like solid clothing. So if you've been watching the TV, you will see Ireland. It doesn't snow that much in Ireland, but it's really cold. Like Ireland is cold compared to most countries. I've been in Ireland for 13, going to 14 years now, and even till today, I'm still cold. I know I should have been climatized by then, but it is what it is. Please, if you have anything that you're thinking of, if you have any comment, any help that you want me to um, help you with, if you're moving to Ireland or if you're thinking to move to Ireland, please just comment in the video and I just, you can text me on my social media handle that I will put in the video and all of the checklist of all of the points and the main websites that I talked about in this video, I will put it in the description section. So thanks a million for watching and please don't forget to like, subscribe for new videos that I will be posting weekly. Bye.